Hello guys, this is XT again in the last video. I normalized the web function. In this video, I am going to uh, find the uncertainty of this uh, web function, which is uh, if this wave is spread like this, then what is the uncertainty in x direction? I am going to find that. So, the formula for uncertainty is given by expectation value of x square minus expectation value of x that whole square and raised to the power of half it deserves its own deri derivation so i'm not going to uh, derive it for now if you request i uh, i will post a video how to derive this how to get to this expression later so if we assume time is at the uh, at the moment zero when time is zero at the moment the time is zero the wave is centered at expectation value is zero at the time is uh, when the time is zero the wave is centered at zero and we know that it will only be zero if the expectation expectation value of the x is zero then we put zero over here then we get right so now we find what is the expectation value of x square so excuse me so the expectation value of x square is integral from minus infinity to plus infinity psi star x square psi dx so psi star psi is none other than 1 by root sigma root pi e to the minus x minus x expectation value square over 2 sigma square then e to the i h bar actually it's minus i h bar e x then we have x square over here then then an another root sigma root pi e to the minus x minus x whole square 2 sigma square e to the i h bar expectation value of p x dx so we cancel these two terms and we have a root sigma root pi whole square then e to the minus x minus expectation value of x square 2 sigma square. actually it's not going to be 2 this time it's going to be just sigma then we have x square over here then we have dx now I'm going to write down the constant term in this color sigma root pi Then we have our integral term x square e to the minus x minus expectation value of x whole square sigma square dx. Let 
x minus expectation value of x actually the expectation value of x is 0 because at t time t expectation value is 0 we are calculating the uncertainty at time t so we can put 0 instead of this uh, instead of the extra expectation value of x so it becomes x square so let us uh, let us assume x over sigma is equal to z if we do that then dx sigma dx equals sigma dz and x square becomes sigma square z square so overall term becomes 1 by sigma root pi minus infinity to plus infinity sigma square z square e to the minus z square and we also have sigma dz then this sigma and this sigma is going to cancel out uh, then we have sigma over root pi then root pi square actually uh, no sigma square actually. I hate this calling bell now we have z square over z square into e to the uh, minus z square dz so now let z square equal y then z equal root over y then dz will be equal to dy to root y so we are going to plug in our values minus infinity to plus infinity z square is y e to the minus y dy to root y and we also have sigma square root pi sigma square root pi minus infinity plus infinity y to the 1 minus half because here we have a half a power y to the power half so we get this and we have a 2 over here So this expression is becomes half then 3 by 2 minus half 3 by 2 minus 1 equals 2 3 minus 2 equals half that means half equals 3 by 2 minus 1 so we can write I'm going to use a different color 3 by 2 minus 1 and we have e to the e to the minus y so this expression over here is a gamma function so gamma function can be written as 3 by 2 if I write this x to the 
n minus 1 e to the minus x dx that is gamma of n so using, using this from formula we get this I have make a, made an, another mistake because in gamma function we use 0 instead of minus infinity but we have a minus infinity over here so what we can do is since these two terms are odd both both the terms are odd we can we can simply write write it like uh, like this then the two two will get cancel out then the expression the expression becomes sigma square over root pi then our gamma term then we can say gamma rho, uh, gamma 3 by 2 is equal to root pi by 2 so root pi root pi cancel and we are left with sigma square over t so expectation value of x square is sigma square over 2 that means our uncertainty uncertainty expression is here this term sigma square over 2 minus t equals 0 expectation value of x equals 0 then we get 0 over here then we cal if you calculate we get sigma over root 2 so our expression becomes del x equals sigma over root 2 so this is our uncertainty for our uh, gaussian wave packet at time 0 so thanks for watching I will continue this video next video I will uh, finally derive the uh, spread of Gaussian wave packet with time thanks